Emil, Marta, Lloyd, you're all right. Unfortunately, I'm the only one who wasn't affected. Have the others been turned to stone? How do you know? I'm sorry. It seems that I, I mean, Ratatos set a trap for the owners of the Daris Emblem. I see. That's why the Daris Emblem glowed. But why were you spared? Maybe because I have Martel's protection. Come on, we need to save everyone. Emil, you can save them, right? Yeah. Okay, then let's hurry. There's something I want to ask you. You've accepted the fact that you're Ratatosk and made up your mind to do your duty and protect the door, correct? Yes. You're not thinking of letting Richter defeat you and turn yourself into a core so you can become a lock on the door. If you feel guilty about Aster and planning on doing that... No! I won't let Richter kill me! Come on, guys! We don't have time for all this chit-chat! Sorry, we're coming! I trust you, Emil. Don't let me down. Was a mistake. We should have left the Daris emblems behind. Were the Daris emblems something you needed during the journey of regeneration? Yeah, we couldn't have done it without them. Which is why I never expected them to work against us. I guess you could never tell. But Martel's protection is really powerful. No, I think it's only that way against Ratatosk. They're both tree spirits, so maybe they cancel each other out or something. You're probably right. Huh. Lloyd, you really know your stuff. I agree. I must admit I had my doubts after hearing so many people describe you as a fool and a bumbling idiot. But it would appear I was quite mistaken. And who exactly were these people? Look at them. This is terrible! Emil, do something to help them! Right. Um, Tenebrae? The curse should dissolve as soon as you touch them. All right. I'll give it a try. Man, I can finally move. You were conscious? Yes. It was as if I was in a straitjacket and couldn't move at all. 
I could see everyone around me was petrified, so I just assumed I was too. That was horrible. My whole body was tingling. It felt like I was frozen in place. I'm sorry. It's my fault. You could not have foreseen these circumstances. Don't worry about it. Well, it looks like everyone's more or less back to normal. All right, now let's make up for lost time and kick some butt. Yeah, Emil needs all our help. You can count on us. Centurion Aqua, are you aware of what you're doing? Yes, of course. Right now, I'm doing everything I can to make sure Lord Ratatosk never comes back again. Why did you decide to side with Richter and betray us? Because I want to help Master Richter avenge his friend. Master Richter and Aster first learned about Lord Ratatosk through their research of summon spirits. They found me, and told me they wanted to advise Lord Ratatosk about the Centurions losing control. I brought them to the Ginoon Gagak, to the door to the demonic realm, just beyond here. But Lord Ratatosk simply refused to listen to what Master Richter and Aster had to say. I couldn't believe it. Instead, he lashed out at them because of his hatred of mankind. He killed Aster, and Master Richter was gravely wounded. After surviving the ordeal, Master Richter searched for the power to bring Aster back to life. That's it. So that's why he's forming a pact with demons. Yes. In return for resurrecting his friend, Master Richter will open the door leading to Nivelheim. Whoa. Wait a minute. Are you serious? Can't you see? You are the ones who are wrong! Lord Ratatosk ordered us to annihilate mankind! How can you possibly help him? He even took the form of Aster when appearing before Master Richter! He, the one responsible for his death! No one is going to make Master Richter suffer anymore! If I can help Master Richter avenge his friend, if I can help him grant his wish, then one thing's certain, I won't hesitate to kill Lord Ratatosk himself!
Did you see that move? Yes, I watched all of it. What do you mean, all? Aqua in pain. She turned her own body into a monster. Now she herself has also been hurt by the battle. Aqua, although you are a centurion, you love Richter. Master Richter, I was only able to buy you a little time. Please. Forgive me. Marta, will you hold on to her for me? Okay. But aren't you going to make a pact with her? No. It can wait. I think it would be cruel to hatch her, and then form a pact with her right now. Oh, I understand. I still find it hard to believe that Centurions are capable of falling in love. I must admit my own surprise. However, just as cores may affect the hearts of people, a strong will may also affect the cores. I think I know what you mean. The human heart seems fragile, but it's actually pretty tough. Yeah. When someone feels anger or sadness, they can affect other people with their emotions. And sometimes there's nothing you can do to help them, even if you want to. But you can also spread positive emotions. And there are plenty of times when people's hearts are touched and they don't even realize it. That is true. Aqua must have been influenced by the strength of Richter's conviction, and it changed her. It may very well be your hearts that hold the key to success in the coming struggle. <sighs> so, Lord Emile... You've come to ask if I'm really gonna do this? Yes. I'm sorry, Tenebrae. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna take on the role of Ratatosk. I know that's not what you want to hear. I will keep my promise to you. Hmm? I am your Centurion. Whatever you have decided, I will obey you to the end. Thank you. <laughs> 